It's 11 o'clock. CBS News. I'm Steve Case. Back here at home, police are looking for the motive in the shooting attack on officers outside a police station in Landover, Maryland yesterday. An unwarranted, unprovoked attack on our police officers at a police station. Absolutely unprecedented and unacceptable. From the local union chief to political leaders, the shooting has been denounced. It left a 28-year-old undercover cop dead. The wounded suspect and another man were arrested. This is CBS News. Good morning. It's 11.04. Monday, March the 14th. Not the prettiest. Some occasional drizzle. Highs near 60. We're at 50 right now. Live from the Glass Enclosed Nerve Center, this is Washington's Top News, 103.5 FM and WTOP.com. Here are Bruce Allen and Deborah Feinstein. It's still not clear why someone opened fire on police officers outside of Prince George's County Police Station, killing one officer. Two suspects, reportedly brothers, are in custody, but won't be identified until an afternoon news conference. Orange evidence markers are still in place on the roadway in front of the District 3 station. Crime scene investigators are working again today outside the building where undercover narcotics officer Ja'Kai Colson was shot. The entire block where the station and police headquarters are located is still a crime scene. Two bouquets of flowers have been left below the yellow police tape. In Prince George's County, Neil Augenstein, WTOP News. What a way to start a Monday. Yeah, we've got clouds out there. We've got rain showers. We're going to keep the chance for some drizzle and light rain showers as we go through the day today with temperatures topping out in the mid-50s. We'll have some rain showers tomorrow morning for your commute, but I do believe we'll get some clearing in the afternoon. Mid-60s tomorrow. Wednesday, look at another gorgeous day. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-70s with sunny skies. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Lauren Ricketts. Imagine living the same day over and over again. Over and over again. Over and over again. But what if that day was the best day ever? With Cash for Life from the Maryland Lottery, you could win $1,000 a day for life or a second prize of $1,000 a week for life. It's not just a ton of cash. It's the freedom to do more of what you want when you want. Play Cash for Life at your favorite Maryland Lottery retailer. Drawings Mondays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. Please play responsibly. 1058. Traffic and weather on the 8s and when it breaks. A lot of our earlier delays on the Beltway have cleared out. We do still have the slow spot in Maryland. Southbound I-95 coming off of 95 headed past Route 1 in College Park. That's where the work is set up in the right lane. Beltway in Virginia looking good. Inner and outer loop, no reported issues. Our earlier delays on eastbound 66 inside the Beltway are easing nicely. Still a brief tap of the brakes approaching Washington Boulevard with the lanes open. 95, 395, no reported issues. If you're headed into the north Bound 3rd Street Tunnel near Massachusetts Avenue. You're staying right to get by the work. Also, lower 14th Street at Main Avenue, the work in the right lane. In Virginia, Reston Parkway, both ways at Lawyers Road and McLaren Road. Utility work has the signal stark. You're under police direction to get through the intersection. The WTOP Traffic Center is presented by Window Nation. Need new windows? Shop windownation.com. I'm Rita Kessler, WTOP Traffic. It's 11 o'clock.